Oh, All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's get this mess started. You know, I had to take it back to season three of The Wendy Show. Make me a drink, and I want mine with the booze. Now, what is that? This is a little bit of Bailey's Irish Cream. You have a TV show. Why are your hands shaking? Bob, you're, hands. you're used to Because you know what? TV. When I'm pouring, I make a mess. Oh. No, I'm not nervous. Okay. I'm just messy. Okay, good. Well, you're at the right show. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. I'm Tina Lee Jones. How are you? Hi, Tina Lee. Tina Lee Jones. Yeah, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm an up-and-coming actress, and I have... Why did I know we were going? Turn it uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why did I have a feeling when I'm she was sorry. standing at the microphone like this Why? that we were about to go someplace? <laughs> that it, it's really not about her comment. It's about her promoting whatever it is she's going to be doing. Okay. What are you promoting? No, I'm an up and coming actress, Tina Lee Jones, and my publicist called me this Good morning and told me that I have an audition next month with Tyler Perry. Very nice, Tina Lee Jones. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, listen. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That was fabulous, Tina Lee. Carucci. I was, I was, I didn't have an opinion of her to begin with, but we were talking about her this morning in our, in our Hot Topics meeting, and this is a girl that has really stuck by him. I mean, yeah, you could say she's the one who broke up Rihanna and Chris Brown, but even after that breakup, she stood by him. She claims, you know, that she was with Chris because, you know, nice personality and whatever, whatever, whatever. She was with Chris because she's a thought who was after the dollar. <laughs> Beyonce's directing and starring in an HBO documentary about her life. I am a Beyonce fan, and, and I have to tell you, I'm watching. Because fortunately, uh, one of the TVs in our kitchen has closed captioning, so I'll be able to understand what she says. She, 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 you know Beyonce can't talk. You all, Beyonce sounds like she's got a fifth grade education, she can't talk. Excuse me, I just said I'm a fan, but we have to call a spade a spade. Beyonce and intellect in the same sentence. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> she does not tweet, twit, Facebook, that whole bit. Her whole form of um, communicating with you and her super fans called the Beehives is through pictures. And that's the way we, everybody likes to look at Beyonce. It's great. You know, she's not the best talker, so it's best that she pro <laughs> I've told you before, and I'll say it again. If you hear her talk, you're gonna need closed captioning on your TV. <laughs> the 18th season of Dancing with the Stars is about to kick off. It's been leaked a little bit, and of course, the first person who's been leaked is Nene Leaks. I think she'll be great for ratings. This is gonna be- You know Nene can dance. Let's see how she does without the pole. <laughs> Eva Langoria uh, recently slammed reality stars who refuse to discuss their personal lives. You know what? She's probably mad because Nene's more popular than her. <laughs> Khloe Kardashian, along with losing all that weight, you lost your sense of humor, and it's not hot, girl. She's mad because Joan and Ray J made a spoof of the Kim Ray J sex tape. <laughs> Khloe, don't bite the hand that continues to feed you if it wasn't for your sister laying on her back with that man then you would be a blip at the mall. <laughs> Chloe reportedly bought Justin Bieber's house in Calabasas. Imagine what she found when she lifted up the corners of the carpet. <laughs> um, all right, so speaking of Chloe, rapper the game is denying that they're dating. Well, of course he is. Because it's not exactly dating if you're just smushing or smashing, you know? It's a little vodeo fun. Uh, in my mind. Uh, but he did reveal that he and Kim dated briefly a long time ago. Ooh. Is there a man that Kim has not dated? <laughs> if, that's what, if that's what we're calling it these days. Now, the interesting part is that the game says that he doesn't exactly remember when they dated, but you know, I've got a great team here and we did some digging and we found a picture from 2006. Oh. Here it is. It looks like both of them might have dated the game at one point. <laughs> Hi, Paris. Anyway, all right, so the question is, then who, who hit it first, Ray J or the game? 
<laughs> it's got to be hard being in Hollywood and seeing your, your, your present has been passed around so many times. Good. Now people are saying that Kim K is trying to one-up Amber. Remember, Amber hit it first, but then Kim went on and married the madman. <laughs> Kim and Kanye are, might be getting a new neighbor. Oh. Guess who? Ooh. Ray J. Oh, and by the way, Ray J lived in this neighborhood first. He just wanted to go back home to what he knew. So not only did he hit it first, but he lived there first. <laughs> by the way, look how he goes to the bar at the Beverly Wilson <laughs> Hotel. And I know guys get turned off by Uggs, but let me tell you something. There is nothing worse than a man in chucks. <laughs> And don't feel conscious, because I understand that Uggs that we girls wear turn guys off too, but I go Ugg uh, down when Ugg season is in, and I don't really care. I mean, comfort is comfort. I guess these chucks are comfortable, but they sure are a turn off. <laughs> oh, men hate them, women love them. Yes. Uggs, Uggs. We love Ugg boots. They these are, are so not sexy, but who cares? We love them. I wore mine here today. They're warm, they're <laughs> water resistant. Christina Aguilera's outfit. <laughs> Girl. She's got a butt like SpongeBob. <laughs> hey, I used to have one of those, but I started doing the lunges in the gym. You, you know, the lunges work. You know, they work the upper muscles so that your behind can pop out. Like, yeah. like, like. Yeah. Is Madonna on yours? My God, Madonna's okay, another. She's another. Um, like, I mean, and she was wearing grills, probably on her dentures. She yeah, was wearing she grills. Was on, on top. And she yeah. came in with a cane. I, well, I think she hurt her foot. I saw it in one of the magazines. She'd hurt her foot. So yeah, that's why the cane. Toddlers and tiaras. But she just looks so desperate. And then she didn't fool anybody by bringing out the blacks on. No. As what if it, we're gonna forget you for using the <laughs> N word. No, old lady, sit down. <laughs> Madonna's latest album was leaked, and Madonna said that um, it's, there, it's not even the good version of these songs, it's the bad version. Oh. Well, I guess the bad version before they put the auto-tunes on her voice. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> With Madonna, I feel as though there's some people, we already know that they need studio help to make their voices like a prayer-ish, you know? <laughs> Jennifer Lopez is um, talking about is talking about her exes with my friend Big Boy from Big Boy's Neighborhood. He's a big radio star, you know? Um, hey, Big Boy! Um, anyway, so uh, he asked Jennifer the ultimate who'd you rather question. You look in the ocean, you mm -hmm. see two people floating. Oh, shit. You can only pull up one because that's how much room you have on your raft. You look in the ocean, <laughs> you see Ben Affleck, <laughs> <laughs> and you see Diddy. <laughs> I would let them both drown too, Jen. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, and, and I mean it. Uh, first of all, Ben Affleck gave me a $5 million pink ring. We bought a beautiful Gone with the Wind style house in Georgia. I put you in the Bentley and we did the video together. We paraded on the red carpet and you break off the engagement and embarrass me? Die! <laughs> and, I mean, and to twist the knife even further in the Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez thing is that it's not even like he's not the marrying kind. He went off and married the other Jennifer and they've got kids! Oh. Die! 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 <laughs> and Puffy! Oh. You had me speeding through numerous traffic lights, doing gunplay in a nightclub. You remember, you had me do the perp walk and spend a few hours in jail. Die! Who's prettier to you, Mariah or Jennifer Lopez? I think, I think Jennifer too. It's not to take away from Mariah's beauty, but I just think Jennifer Lopez is prettier. Um, who is more iconic? Mariah. Oh, think my dear. I used to say Mariah too, however, the way that Jenny from the block has turned her thing around and we watch her, she's an equal icon in a different way because we know Jennifer can't sing. But, oh come. 
Mariah is a music purist. She's so special that she doesn't need a clothing line and nail line and to be sitting on some judge's table. She is so special. Leave that other side hustle stuff to girls who really don't sing well like Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> It's only in recent years that she's come out with that Mariah Carey perfume. Prior to that, she made all of her money just off singing and doing concerts and protecting her voice, which to me makes an artist mysterious. You know, when you're not really that talented, you have to do other things like a perfume, a clothing line, a this, a that. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm just simply saying you wouldn't catch Mariah Carey driving a Fiat. <laughs> now, you know that she probably is a beastly diva behind the scenes. You know, just difficult in every way. Don't look at me in the eye. You know, I only want white in the room. Get rid of all this furniture. You know, like, deep, uh. But she's got a very good way of making us think that she's not that way. I come from radio. I've interviewed Jennifer Lopez before, and we were told not to look her in the eyes also. But guess where I was looking? <laughs> look, look, look. feel real uncomfortable. And here's another thing that we were told at the radio station. Nobody, you know, they had to clear out the bathroom before Jennifer got in there. I mean, like, literally clear out the bathroom. Not, you know, just make sure nobody's in there and then go in, but clear out the bathroom. So me, I had one of my interns go in there and stand on the toilet seat and just <laughs> look and, and push the door to. And I'm gonna say it, because we witnessed it. She didn't wash her hands after you went to the bathroom. <laughs> Don't you know a pose picture when you see it? Who dances like that? <laughs> take the picture quick. And then look, take the picture quick. And then as soon as the picture's over, she says, okay, now give me my coat. Jennifer, you're trying too hard. The man behind you doesn't even look like he's dancing with you. Nobody looks like they're having fun. When my Hot Topics producers told me that Latoya Jackson got secretly engaged, I was only playing when I said, to who? Her business partner, Jeffrey. <laughs> They said, yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> His eyebrows are arched better than mine. <laughs> now, you know, I don't like weddings. I don't like wedding specials. I don't like anything about them. I don't really care about weddings, yours, mine, theirs. I, it, you know, <laughs> I, um, I told you I'm a justice of the peace girl. Who is giving this woman away? I am. Love. <laughs> Please be seated. <laughs> oh. You caught me catching feelings at a wedding. Maybe that's why I don't like them. Uh, George and I'll, um, um, I'll moon. Uh, Amal Abadubade. Amal, uh, yeah, and George. Why is he looking at his own reflection as opposed to making sure that his girl doesn't get hit by a car? Marco writes, um, hi, Wendy, how you doing? I was on the Paramount Pictures lot in LA when I spotted Ariana Grande. Wow. And in true Ariana style, she insisted on showing the left side of her face. Remember, Chili had a reality show looking for love, and she never found love there. And now she's on with Patty Stenger with the millionaire matchmaker looking for love again. Chili, you <laughs> To be a cute girl with washboard abs, you must have a ticky ticky boom up here or something, Chili. <laughs> oh my gosh, we never got a chance to talk about Selena and, and Jason, uh, Justin. It's All not right. that interesting anyway. They're back together. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know, after they, after a man and woman go back and forth so many times, then you have to stop just looking at the man as being, like, we're quick to look at the man as being the one who's wrong. She's gotta have a tick too, though. Do you know what I'm saying? A tick of crazy, a tick of uh, something, like a, a tick of something, because they say birds of a feather flock together. I gotta tell you something, I'm so tired of talking about Lindsay Lowen, I could spit. Lindsay may be leaving New York for good. Yeah. <laughs> As a matter of fact, she may be relocating out of the country. Yeah. She's moving to London. 
No, not Mars, lady. She, she, she's moving to London. Bruce Willis has another girl. His wife, Emma, gave birth um, to another daughter. And Bruce has three adult daughters, as you know, with Demi Moore. And then he has a two-year-old daughter already with Emma. And now he's got another one. His sperm are pink. <laughs> So Solange's elevator attack has opened up a whole can of worms regarding Jay-Z and Beyonce's marriage. Sherry Shepard is so happy that this story happened. <laughs> Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. <laughs> hey, Sherry girl, I'm telling you. Whatever you and your husband, soon to be ex-husband, are going through, all you gotta do is wait a beat, and another celebrity does something, and everybody forgets. So Sherry is someplace like, thank God for Solange. <laughs> we'll move along. Please, let's move along quickly. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a messy show.